Do you remember Amanda Bynes from Nickelodeon? I remember her. She was having a uh, breakdown, no? She had a breakdown at some point, Amanda Bynes did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows off very groomed eyebrows with the crystal studded sunglasses near Rodeo Drive. Sh do you not remember Amanda Bynes? Can you show me a picture, please? Well, that's her now. No, I don't. Uh, I'll try and Google a picture of her when she was a Nickelodeon. I used to watch that till I was like 17. No. No? You sure? No. Nope. Don't remember her? No. Nope. No? No. Nope. The Amanda Show? No. Right, sure. Well, she was huge. Now she's had a breakdown. Mm -hmm. um, what else has happened? Here we go. It's children's TV nostalgia, that's why. Uh, there was a lot of controversy with child stars from Nickelodeon and their director, Dan Schneider. Yeah, I've heard I a lot about this, Dan, and his um, pornography, not pornography, but... Um, ex toxic environment, Dan Schneider. I don't know the correct words, but I think he was very like, abusive and also women yeah, are a little bit sexually during odd. Dan yeah. Schneider's reign at the network. Mm-hmm. Quiet on set reveals an insidious environment rife with but allegations of is, abuse, sexism, racism, and inappropriate dynamics with its underage stars and crew. Yucky, Dan. But as a parent, because these are all underage stars, how do you just let that slide? Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't oh. be that in it for the money to have your children in a position where they're yeah. in that position. Oh, pretty, we just got a thing. Would you allow your child to be the child actor? No. I don't think so, no. No, I wouldn't want... No. I wouldn't want... Adults do directed my child. I think children's modelling weird. Yeah. Like, yeah, why are you setting your child out to go and be a model yeah. to look so cute and impose in these clothes? Modelling's an adult's thing. Yeah. I understand, like, you might want to showcase showcase your clothes or whatever, but to be looking at a child and go, wow, they're so perfect, they're so pretty. No, for yeah. me, that's fucking I, I, weird. I think once, I, once they're adults, then fair dues, you can act and do what you want. But yeah, I wouldn't ever... It's like glamorising children. I wouldn't want to submit stage. my child to being directed and And you don't make children work. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, modelling is work. It is. Yeah. It, it's a paid job. You're making your child work. So what's the difference between putting a kid in a factory hmm. and sending a modelling? Yeah, fair dues. All right, this one's quite fun. The truth about the I don't think he was listening. I thought I had a point there. The, the, this is the truth about Teletubbies. According to conspiracies, the Teletubbies are meant to represent actual children from one of the asylums. And the theory claims that the four children oh, who inspired the show this. all died on the same day. Yeah, I've heard this. La La, uh -huh. the yellow tub Teletubby La La, was supposedly based on a child patient who spent years in isolation, hence the permanent facial disfigurement. Think Joker and his Chelsea smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard a lot of this, Ooh. which is weird because I used to have these painted on. No, I had the tweenies. The tweenies. Yeah. Tinky Winky, one of the children had gone deaf and also had some unfortunate facial deformities. Allegedly, the child was tied to a fence outside and eventually got frostbite. Hence, Tinky Winky as the purple blue Teletubby. Ooh. Dipsy was inspired by a child who had clearly been that malnourished to the point of getting sick, hungry and unwell. Child vomited and with conditions as bad as they were at the institution he ends up lying in his own pew for days on end this is where Dipsy gets his green colour wow Poe as if the other Teletubbies weren't tortured enough now we have Poe the child that Poe is based on allegedly fell into a fire and was burnt to a crisp hence Poe's red colouring well, this is a bit sadistic. But what about the TVs in their stomachs, you might ask? Television sets were the only form of joy and laughter for the children in the asylum. When the mental institution decided to get rid of all the TVs, the children decided to swallow the smaller television sets for safekeeping. <laughs> all right, that's where it got a bit, uh, that got a bit, a bit too pathetic by the end of that. I don't mind the initial conspiracy, but. Are you saying yes or no then? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying no. Mm. I think it's one where people are just trying to draw lines and reaching. Mm. What's your favourite conspiracy? Favourite? Oh, probably... It's not a conspiracy though, really. It's such point blank facts. Right. Like all um, the Illuminati and stuff. Do you know when they like drink the baby's blood and things like that and then they put um, baby blood on their skin to rejuvenate it all? Things like that. You that's, think that's happening. You reckon there's like hundred percent little cults going on. Yeah, hundred percent. Where they like, so, yeah, but there's definitely cults. And like celebrity parties, cults, like, yeah. just, like Kanye West. Sorry, mate, you ain't normal. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die for exposing them, oh. man. Right. So you think the Illuminati is real? Oh. You think there's a higher up power controlling everyone? Mm -hmm. Really? Hundred percent. Right. What do you think they control? Well, them because they. Sign a laugh, right? Didn't they? Well, they just control the people. What do they make them do? 
But, but no, it's just to give them the fame and all the stuff like that in it. But then they've got to submit themselves to the odd afterlife. The odd afterlife. Mm, I'm not talking about it too much. <laughs> God bless my soul. God, God bless. <laughs> I'm a Christian. Look after me. Are you Jesus. actually? Yeah. Are you religious? No, I'm not. I said to go to church, but then I think it's a bit of a scam at the same time because they, when I, they, no, I do because they just wanted so much money. <laughs> I always say churches do like sort of, they want the money, yeah. I'm going to get Olive Christen. It looks at about £750 for a christening and then you have to give them money like every single month. It's to keep the church. And then, it, but then it said if, if the church needs any, like, and this is in fucking Brentwood as well. It's a nice church. Like, and it said, refurbs, oh, if it yeah. needs any refurbs or whatever, you've got to pay for that as well. And I thought, gee, I might lose so fucking 10 grand to this your, church. You pay, you pay for your, your faith, your guidance, your. I still do when I get a christening because I do believe in the afterlife. You, do you don't, know about but you're Pastor just... Toby? Huh? Do you know about Pastor Toby? No. Uh, bro's got a uterus. I know, he's got a Lambo. <laughs> yeah, bro. Pastor Toby is out here. <laughs> Pastor Toby did well off the church. Pastor Toby is rolling through the ends and Eurus's. All right. Big up Pastor Tobes. Right, I don't get it. That's where your money would be going, to Pastor Toby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I thought you were about Tobe Chisel. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he is doing that too, yeah. They've oh. got the same cars. No, he's That's actually, he's, he he's, like, he's like the head of a church or something, but he's actually just like... I mean, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> so if anyone is a priest, I'll pay you privately. <laughs> private priest? You're the private priest? I need to see your papers and documents. <laughs> Hello, I'm a certified priest. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Really well, nice. you're going to hell anyway, but I don't... I'm, uh, without a doubt, I've resigned myself to hell. I don't... Uh, I, well, I, I think I've resigned myself to nothing. I'm not well, I'm going there anyway, so I've had a child before fucking marriage. I'm not religious at see all, you so... There. So uh, I, if there is a place of, of of whatever, I will be willowing in hell's pits, yeah. I do believe in the art of art, though, 100%. Do you? 100%. Well, do, you, do you think you get reborn or do you think you... Olive's been here before. You reckon? 100%. She's in Northern. Well, they say, they say if you've got moles, you've been here before. Yes, and That's you're brand new, aren't you? Because I said this yeah, to you the I'm other day. New. I have... I I would she, have she's had got the exact same mole as a as as my nan yeah like yeah. the exact same birthmark yeah. right on, on on the top of our bum yeah in the exact same place direct mm. middle of our back bottom of our bum um but I would have had a really painful death because the amount of moles and marks that I have oh really but I think I was killed by a snake yeah I've said this to you before every single mole and f stop fucking laughing <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> Just <laughs> listen to me. It's just every now and then. Just because the, you're brand new. When you hear it vocalised, yeah, do you not think I sound like a little bit? No. Of, <laughs> lunatic, I don't. You don't think I sound like a lunatic? No, what a sad life thinking you're just here and then you die. <laughs> what a sad life to think it don't I think I was killed by a snake. <laughs> I do. Go on then, carry on there. Because every freckle I have comes in two. So that's like a venomous fucking... Way of dying. Look, the snake had his way with you. Look, the snake bit. Him. And it's all up my back, all on my shoulders, all of them. I've got two on my back. What side? I'm gonna get my tits out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has, yeah look, you got a triangle there, Illuminati, Illuminati moles. Where? You got. You, there is a triangle. I'll take a picture of it right now. Get it back out. Look. <laughs> look. One sec. Boom. All right. Now look. Where? Look. Dot. 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 You got no, a triangle. No, look this way. Two there. Yeah. All right, yeah, sure. Uh, I was well, died by snake aggression. You, you was died by snake aggression. I've died. I've died by snake aggression. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you, you think I'm brand new? Yeah. So I've got I've got no moles. I don't have any sort of recollection of being here before. So when I come back, though, I don't know if I'd want to be human again. Maybe an elephant or something. An elephant. Yeah. Why do you want to be an elephant? They're so endangered. Like, they don't get looked after. You end up getting a fucking saddle put on your back. True, and I'd have to run away from a tiger I can't bother. You've not got the work ethic to be a wild animal. Yeah, maybe I'd like to come back then. We'll see. But I definitely think, like, people come back and start butterflies, robins. I'm just a fresh spawn. Yeah. Whoever gets me next, sorry, 